Good morning, folks. No doubt what the top story is today. Not quakes, hurricanes, typhoons, solar flares, but Arctic ice melt. We have a new record. One might expect this during the hottest year on record, which it is, but Arctic ice moderates global temperature by solar reflection and it also keeps down the methane. This is bad three ways. Good article here and kind of goes with that butterfly species migration anomalies blamed on the climate. Well folks, many of you know there are some changes on deck to the USGS Quake site. Rather than keeping a separate list and map, they've combined them. Let's give it a try. When you select from the list below, it pulls up a full descriptive. Like for the 5.7 aftershock El Salvador took this morning. Couple there, actually. The night ended with a 5-pointer in Baja. California quieted down yesterday with just a few 4-pointers, and we had another mid-4 tremor in the tsunami watch zone. We reported the Nigerian flooding last week, but it has gotten much worse. 20,000 are now evacuated from their local areas. Anybody in the UK catch this fireball going across the sky last night? Asia is getting some relief as their level 4 and 5 typhoons are now just level 1. But as the northernmost storm approached Korea last night, two fishing vessels were lost and dozens are feared dead. This is a brief picture update. The largest oil refinery in Venezuela is still a total disaster. And speaking of what could affect U.S. oil prices, by now there is nobody left at these rigs. Isaac is looking down his nose at them right now, already drenched Florida and the tropics. Here's some tornado damage from Florida. As of 4.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, it says we expect a Category 1 or 2 hurricane to hit Louisiana tonight. Looking at Soho solar wind data, it nicely shows the ramp up and drop off of the Corona Hole stream speed up at the top panel. We got really fast yesterday, but now we are seeing space weather quiet. Speaking of space weather, this is the induction magnetometer. It measures 0 to 5 hertz, the lowest frequencies in the universe. You cannot watch HARP fire off high frequency waves on this thing, and even if it measured high frequencies, this measures the induction from a global magnetic event, as in not focused on one location. You cannot use this to watch harp. You cannot use this to watch harp create quakes. It's one of the dumbest lies this community believes. This is just a different kind of machine. A quick look at the sun reveals no big eruptions in the past 24 hours. That giant plasma filament is earth facing, but firmly seated for now. We have another filament coming over the left side. That's the Eastern limb. Sky watchers, you already know that Venus will heliocentrically oppose Saturn tomorrow or Thursday, but an interesting bit of geometry occurs simultaneously as Venus, Mercury, and Uranus line up. We also got a full moon on Friday. Here comes Isaac. That's the news, folks. Be safe.